we give God all the praise. Powerful teaching that we're uh, imparting so that you can manifest the kingdom of heaven, the glory of God. You're all I want. You're all I ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know you are near. I have a Janet Jackson in my ministry. Ain't that wild? Her name is literally Janet Jackson. Draw me close to you. That's for Janet Jackson, because Janet Jackson will hit it. Never let me go. I lay it all down again. To hear you say that I'm your friend. Help me find a way to bring me back to you. You're all I want. Whoa, whoa. You're all I ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know you are near. You're all I want. Whoa, whoa. You're all I ever, I ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know you are near. Help me know you are near. Help me know that you are near. We used to do it. <laughs> Happy that you are near. <laughs> we used to do it a certain type of way on that song when we get to that part. Saints, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter. Uh, Got to practice on that one and get back to how we used to do it, huh? I'll get it. I'll get it. This kind only come out by praying fast. <laughs> we in Second Corinthians chapter uh, two. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's go to Second Corinthians chapter three.
We got to keep on working for it. We got to keep on working until we get it. We got to press. <laughs> we got to press. Help me know that you are near. Ooh. Help me know that you are near. Ooh. Help me know that you are near. Press. He's lifting you higher The upper room You can Press 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 You can press In this upper room Press, press on, press, press, you can press in this upper room. Press, yeah, 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 yeah. In this upper room, you can press, press on, oh, 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 press, you can press, in this upper room, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 in this upper room. Yeah, 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 in this upper room. Above the heavens, you can press, press, you can press in this upper room. Above the heavens, above the heavens, you can press. In this upper room Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. In this So we're in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Just keep on praying for me if we get there. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 says something powerful. Look what it says in verse uh, 6. It says, who also has made us men, uh, able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. Now this is so powerful because... Um, the reason why the letter killeth is because um, you would need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit 
to get these things done. You will need the Holy Spirit showing you how to operate in your divinity to live the way that the letter tells you to live. So the spirit giveth life. And saints, that word life, it means connectivity to God. That life means that you are a manifester of his personality. That life means that you are a manifester of his character. It means that you are a manifester. You can press. I'm going to get back. <laughs> you can press. 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 You can press. In the upper room. Above the heavens, above the heavens, you can press in the upper room. Yeah, 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 in the apple yeah 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 in the apple above the heavens you can press press you can press, press in the upper room. All right, so look at this here. It says the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. So we, we already dissect that. The spirit giveth life because it giveth connectivity to God. And it also giveth the manifestation of God's personality and character. So you're going to be operating as God. All right. That's what the spirit. So the spirit, this is what the spirit do. The spirit giveth you the personality of Jesus. And see, remember what Jesus knew no sin and he was tempted in all points. So watch this here. When you receive the personality of Jesus, you can't sin. Now watch this here. I want you to catch this in another aspect. We dealt with personality and character. I really was trying to hit a high note on here, but I don't know what happened. I, I was trying to hit a high note on this. I want to hit a high note. Now, look at this here. When it says that the spirit giveth life, in this life is every category of life, even abundant life, rich life. The spirit giveth life, riches. It giveth wealth, abundance. Watch this. The spirit giveth life. So every category of life that exists, the life of abundance, the life of riches, the life of wealth, the life of debt cancellation, the life of increase, the life of prosperity, the life of having plenty. The spirit giveth this. Watch this. But if the ministration of death written in engraving, engraving in stones was glorious. That's talking about Moses' law. You remember Moses was a glory carrier. It says that if that was glorious so that the children of Israel could not even steadfastly look upon the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away with. Watch this here. They couldn't even handle that glory. And it says that this glory is done away with. Now remember, what all took place in the glory that's done away with? They learned wisdom from Moses. They got free from their biggest enemy in life, Pharaoh. Look, 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 look. 
And then they also came out with a wealth transference. Somebody touch your neighbor right here. I, I, want, I want you to write me on here. In the glory that's done away with, they experience extreme wealth. Now, now, I want you to listen to what you're saying. In the glory that's done away with, they experience extreme wealth. Now, let's go to verse eight. How shall they not, how shall not the ministration of the spirit be rather glorious? It's saying that the spirit, if, 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 if through the law, they all came out with their silver and gold. They came out freedom from the devil. They came out with deliverance. They came out with manifestation, the promises of God showing up. It says how much more shall the ministration of the spirit be rather glorious. Now, saints, I want to talk to you sowers on here. And those of you all that will become a sower. And a reaper. I want to talk to you future reapers on here. When you look in the Old Testament and see what the seed did for Isaac, that's done away with. <laughs> When you look back and see what the seed did to Abraham, that's done away with. What you, when you look back and see what the seed did for Moses, how it, how, how it was effective, that's done away with. When you look back and see what the seed did for the Queen of Sheba, that's done away with. When you look back and see what the seed did for Solomon, that's done away with. The glory in sowing is far higher. It exceeds. So the glory that is coming forth through a sower is being exuded through a sower. is being exuded in your reaping aspect and department. It's way bigger. Saints, watch this. You are a spirit led sower with a Holy Ghost whispering to you seed amounts. You hear so 1400. You so you hear so 1300. That's what the Holy Spirit gave me. So, 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 so 800. So 500. So 100. So, so, so the best you can sow right now is 70. You, you hearing the Holy Spirit give you amounts. See, some of the sowers back here was just sowing off a law. They knew it was a law, so they would go to the priest. They'll give their seed. They'll give their offering. But it they was just dead. You don't understand. But, but saints, even in their dead place, God still was blessing them. You say, prophet, how you know that? Because Zechariah chapter 8 verse 12 said that the seed shall be prosperous. That's Old Testament. So, so God was telling them, even though you coming up here like a zombie, you really don't know what's happening. You just giving the priest that seed. You just giving your seed. You just giving your offering. You just giving uh, your, 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 your tithes unto God. You just giving your respect unto God. But you really don't, you, you really didn't think too much about it. You, know, you ain't hearing too much going on in your mind. But now you as a sower, you got static going on in your mind. You hear seed amounts. You hear God telling you, sow this. I'm going to make this happen for you. You hear God saying, I got a new house I'm going to give you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what you see right now. You live in an apartment. Don't worry about that. I got bigger for you. Just keep on working my system and come. Don't, don't worry about all these people up there flaunting. I got a Lamborghini for you. Don't worry about it. And guess what? You ain't going to buy it. So stop talking about you going to buy it. Somebody going to buy it for you. A sower must recognize over 95% of your harvests will not come to you by you buying it. I said, mo I said most of your harvests won't come to you by you buying it. 
Saints, when Abram had them camels and them she asses, all that stuff was given to him by Abimelech. You're not hearing me. The queen of Sheba came and gave Solomon all that extra gold and that extra uh, fragrance and that extra treasures and those extra uh, 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 vehicles. That was the queen of Sheba doing that. Solomon didn't buy all that stuff. She bought it. You as a sower underneath this New Testament glory, you need to recognize macrophalia. Gatun de vinza perele ekronos perez de levi anzelikan. You got to recognize underneath this New Testament that the majority of your harvest will not be bought by you. It's going to be bought by somebody that God will send to act just like you. See, you don't understand. What are you saying, prophet? I'm saying that you submitted yourself unto God to sow and honor your man of God. Sponsor the gospel. Somebody has been possessed like a robot by God to act like you act towards you. So they're going to come up to you and act like how you was acting towards your man of God. Remember, you reap what you sow. Remember, given it shall be given unto you. Is the man that's given into your bosom. But these men are possessed by the Holy Ghost like you was possessed by the Holy Ghost. And the same way the Holy Ghost trained you, the Holy Ghost is training them. I want you to understand that when you're in the seed sowing system, you must have confidence in God. That Lord, you raising up somebody to be just like me for me. Oh my God. Ah! Ah! So, <laughs> my money coming to me now. The same way that you raised me up to be sensitive to you, you raising up somebody to be sensitive to me. See, the soul got to recognize. Somebody got to hold our mule. Somebody touch your neighbor on here, say, hold my mule. So come on, come on, come on now. Come on now, touch your neighbor, say, hold my mule. Don't be disobedient, don't be disobedient. I need two people on here. I need two. I need, I need the whole gang on here. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. I need you to write me on here. Say, hold my mule. I need, I need you to write me on here. Hold my mule. I need you to write me. See, see, see the blessing just in the obedience. You're going to be up there talking. So what, 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 hold my mule got to do anything. All right. Don't say it. Don't say it. The Lord used the foolish things to confound the wise. You don't understand all these angels up in here around me. All they doing is looking at you. That's all they doing. They looking for somebody to work with. Ask my partners that's sewing into me. Ask the people that working with me right now and honoring me. When I say they're working with me, I mean that they honor me. That's their servanthood. They sewing into me. They serving me. I, I want you to catch it. Go ask them what's happening to them in their life. How they getting pay raises at their job. How checks coming in their mail. How old jobs paying them. How debts being canceled. Right hand JHM. Look, my, my, my daughter, Chimera. Chimera. Huh? She just got a miracle of finances again. And guess what? She sold out of that miracle. Plenty of money moving in her direction. She right here on the line. Don't worry. There's, there's people getting miracles. Plenty of money is moving in her direction. You understand? Just, just think about it. Everybody that's sewing into me, walking in their wealthy place right now. Everybody that's sewing into me, walking in their wealthy place. This is not no game. This is a, a glory of the Holy Ghost. This is the administration of the Spirit of God. Money! to me now. Every financial stronghold be broken over your soul and life right now. I speak that over you. All demonic power assigned to rob you steal from you. 
I strangle you underneath my office right now. Let the people of God go free. Let the people of God, let them break free. Look at Joseph Tucson. Joseph Tucson, the wildest nigga that follow me. <laughs> Joseph Tucson, the wildest nigga that I, I let stay on my line, even though he be talking his stuff on him. Joseph Tucson, look what he said. And Joseph Tucson be sewing, by the way. <laughs> he said, ain't been at my job not even six months and got a raise because he moved with money coming. That's my dog. <laughs> Joseph Toussaint said, I ain't even been at my job. Old. And Joseph Toussaint be sewing. And money cometh is on him. Saints, I want you to hear me on here. I want you to hear me on here. Galiva. Hakuri vianzo. Se crema saluva. Cleve de le cruvanisian. The money cometh anointing. It teaches you how to govern money with a pure heart. The money cometh anointing teaches you how to govern money with a pure heart. That's what it does. The money cometh glory of the spirit is in our day for you. The money cometh glory of the spirit is in our day for you. So, so saints, this ain't for the angels. God take care of them. This for you. You are the image of God. Oh my goodness. You God's daughter. You his royal priesthood. You. The money cometh glory of God is for you in this day, not for the angels. They well fed and well taken care of in the glory. You now have a mission from God to bring the same light glory to the earth. Saints, look where it says that the ministration is way greater. Watch this here. Let's go to verse nine. For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more does the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. It says that if the administration of condemnation be glory, how much more does the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory? This powerful. It says that the administration of righteousness Exceeds in glory. Okay, that's what it say, right? That's what it say, right? The ministry of righteousness. The ministry of righteousness. The ministry of what? Righteousness. What, what we talk about? Righteousness. The ministry of what? Righteousness. The ministry of what? Righteousness. What's the ministry of? Righteousness. It said it exceeds in what? Glory. Okay? Keep that. Keep that. Keep that in your belly. All right? Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9. It said the ministry of righteousness exceeds in glory. Okay? Let's go to verse 10. Now he that ministers seed to the sower. Both minister bread for your food. Now what did it say in the uh, text before I read this? That the ministry of righteousness exceed in glory. All right. The ministry of righteousness exceed in glory. Okay. Stick with that while I read this to you. Now he that ministers seed to the sower. Both minister bread for your food. And multiply your seed sown. And increase the fruits of your righteousness. What did I say before? It said that the ministry of righteousness exceed in glory. Okay. So the Bible says that the sower, that sow seed, increase in the fruits of righteousness. So if the fruit of righteousness is being increased, and the Bible just said in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, I believe, that the ministry of righteousness exceed in glory. So if I'm increasing in the fruits of righteousness, 
That means I'm increasing in the glory. So seed sowing, when I'm honoring God, when you honor God with the seed, you not only increase the fruits of righteousness, you increase the glory of God that you're walking in this life. That's why you can't help but become wealthy because there's glory. There's glory on you. Saints, that's why I don't worry about what's going on in this world. I don't worry about what's going on in America because I'm a glory carrier. I'm a sower. And then I... I am increasing in the fruits of righteousness. I'm also increasing in the exceeding weight of God's glory, his glory all around me. That's why we got prosperity angels. That's why we got money moving. That's why we got checks in the mail. That's why we got cryptocurrency moving. That's why we got Bitcoin moving. We got all type of money moving. You know why? Because we exceeding in the glory. Somebody shout. Money cometh to me now. Why? Because I'm exceeding in the glory. 